Hey hi guys this is Devesh here. Here we'll be creating a sample to showcase how exactly we can create a microservice using the Spring Boot project and uh, I'm using for that a Spring Toolsuit which is being provided Spring itself. So this is the will to, to work in Spring Boot project. It has bunch of inbuilt feature that we can immediately we can create a Spring Boot project. So let's start and you can see my uh, um, workspace let me create a new project and we'll showcase how to create a microservice so i'll be going to the spring starter project option in my id here i'll be giving a uh, name of my project demo spring boot in this id you could see like there are bunch of inbuilt features is available i need to choose what are the dependencies that I need to add to create my project? So let me get the wave that is exactly is required for creating a web project. I think for now that that would be enough. That dependencies. Let me click finish. So here exactly the sample project is getting imported to my team, and these all are provided by the Spring. Uh, team so once this is while this is getting clear so let's talk about a microservice what exactly a microservice is and what are the features and the benefits we'll be getting out of a microservice in in case of what exactly the main difference is in case of a monolithic application a certain feature in our application that is bind to uh, uh, bind or uh, to the other features also but in case of microservice small features can be built and deployed in a server separately where that will be independent on the uh, features or the behavior of the application so in this case we'll have the stability and uh, uh, for developing the application and the deployment process and the debugging issue that is very helpful and the microservice can be exposed through HTTP protocol and this can be accessed by uh, browser application, mobile application and um, so any other backend so this can be invoked ok so here we will be showcasing like how we can create and expose a REST API ok so in case when I am talking about REST API this is the REST web service I am mentioning about so we will see once this project created how we can create a REST API and we can create a microservice. So let this gets created first, then we'll discuss about it. So we can wait for some time once it's created successfully, then we can start the process. I guess it's already imported and it also uh, it's again. So before we start, let me show the uh, Maven form dot XML and let's like what are the default library like for the web application. So these are the already the by default libraries that get already imported. I have choose wave component. So this wave starter Spring Boot starter wave is available in the form dot XML. So if I will go to the demo screen boot application, we can see uh, a main method and from where exactly the uh, my application will be invoked. So let me uh, quickly create a controller.
so let me click this so let my classes get created so the class will be enough to accept my request and for that I need to annotate with the rest command So here the main difference is in between the rel and the controller is the rest and the drum with the view resolver. So I'll be creating method for that test and uh, so we have a string from here. Okay. And I'll be a endpoint so that the when the request comes with this particular URL, so this will be able to accept the request and solve the request from here. So I have this controller ready and I have this application is ready. Let's let me start the application and then we can hit that particular URL to see what response we are getting whether our application is able to serve it. So internet comes with this embedded Tomcat container whenever I will be invoking this main method it in turn invoke the initialize the container so internally it already got started this is very fast way the spring uh, team they have come up with so that we can create the production ready application within few minutes my application is running on 8080 and I have an endpoint I have created that is called test so here we go we got a success response my application is able to serve the request and provided a proper response so this is all about a creating a sample microservice using a Spring Boot. We'll come up with lot many other videos in future. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for to get update for the new upcoming video. Thanks a lot.